My father never wanted me to be a fisherman. But my grandfather, my uncles and my father are all fishermen and I've always looked up to them. When my father stopped waking me up to go fishing with him, it devastated me as a young fella. I remember the desire in your heart mm. that you wanted to fish and your father said no. Mm. We want you to go away and learn something else. Oh dear, oh dear, I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> Come on, old man. Prawns ain't gonna catch themselves. I was born and raised on the river. It's the only life that I know. So when do I put the try net in? When you learn to drive a boat. <laughs> What's wrong with my driving? Oh yeah, but you've got to learn how to drive under the water yet. River boat. River boat. We're completely shut out of our native food, the oysters, because of this recreational fishing haven. They've sold the country out from under us, as far as I'm concerned. Is that as far as you could throw it? Some days are diamonds, some days are cold. Is that going to wrap around the motor there? You probably pulled it around there. Some days the hard times won't leave me alone. He's doing well, he's picked it up really quick and he won't see the repercussions of it until he has his bad years and then he'll understand what I was trying to tell him. I'm home. You've missed me a lot. You've been wanting to go home regularly throughout our time together, you have this longing to go home. We've been contemplating the idea of moving up north. How do you really feel about that? Conflicting. I just don't know. Like... I'm just loving this time together. Yeah, well, I'm loving it. But I, even as tired as I was, I never stopped loving you. Just get that in your head. There goes the gearbox. No, it don't go on sideways. I'm going against the wind too, you know. Mr. Wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wild.